going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing 2019's reimagining of Hellboy. If you guys are new here, well, consider hitting that like and subscribe button for tons of early movie reviews and geeky content like this. Plus, you guys can also go over to Sandwich on Films for ways to see movies early. Jock it up. I'm a big Hellboy fan. I love the original Del Toro movies. I think they were some, some of the best parts of watching them as a child. And I just really appreciate the graphic novels and then the character Hellboy in general in this world that is so fleshed out from those movies and the graphic novel. I'm a big fan. Like I said, I got both movies. I got the cartoon movies. I've always been a big fan of it. And after I heard that Del Toro wasn't going to get his third initial film into the series, they announced this brand new R-rated reimagining of the film. And I got a little tedious, but I was like, let me see who's going to be involved. You got Neil Marshall coming in to direct. I think he's done a great job with, say, The Descent and some of the great episodes of Game of Thrones. So I was pumped on that part. Then you chalk it up that David Harbour is going to be taking over the title character of Hellboy. Got me a little bit more excited. I love David Harbour's charm from Stranger Things and any of the smaller things that he does pop up in. Pop in some other people like Ian McShane in here, Mila Jovovich. It got me a little bit more excited. Like I said, R-rated comic book creators a little bit more involved on this one. It looks to be another cool version of Hellboy. I was all for it. Everything on the production design, all straight down from there. I was excited for it. And I was wanting the Del Toro version, but if I'm not going to get that, I at least want more versions of Hellboy on the big screen. Since the trailer came out, I, I liked it. Wasn't in love with it. Second trailer came out. Liked it a little bit more, still wasn't in love with it. Now I have seen the brand new 2019 version of Hellboy, and I gotta say, I am so disappointed in this movie. In fact, I, I'm like utterly sad to be saying this. I might go as far as to say this is probably one of the worst films I've actually seen this year as well. I mean, in this movie though, I felt I cannot compare it to the original Del Toro versions. I need to try my best not to. So within this review, do you understand? I'm gonna try my best not to compare it to those versions. It's not fair to the movie. I even went in with that mindset, but as I was, I was watching it and a lot of my concert popping up, I did start comparing it to the Del Toro version because that is something that I just went through and rewatched and just kind of got back into the feel to and how much potential this movie truly had. I think the easiest way to start with this review is to just kind of go into my pros. What are my main pros for this? What f things that I really like about this film? In fact, some of the few minor things that I really liked about it was David Harbour as Hellboy. I thought he was charming. I thought he was probably one of the most charming things about this film. I liked him in the role, and I think even in a better movie, he would have done better. I saw Sasha Lane in here playing Alicia Monaghan, who I really liked her character. Again, one of the most charming aspects of the film was her. Daniel Day Kim's even good in the role as well. I can truly say that some of the demon designs towards the later half in the film were really cool to see. I mean, don't get me wrong. like They looked like really unique, and some of the creature designs that they moved around, the way that they moved around, I was kind of all for it. Of course, going into a Hellboy film, you're expecting some badass action scenes which from the original del toro films those action scenes actually pretty much hold up still and are pretty badass and i was kind of going into this thinking okay rated r we're gonna get some cool action scenes and definitely there are some solid very cool visually not stunning but visually there's some cool action scenes in here in particular two of the main ones that i am talking about is one that involves giants earlier in the, on in the film and the very last action scene before the ending credits which i thought was awesome like that last action scene i was sitting there and i was like where was the rest of this and all the other action scenes like it actually got me hyped and i was like this is the film that if you weren't going to portray a great version of Hellboy, then you should have at least entertained me with this type of stuff. And I guess this is kind of where I get to my con, sadly. I don't have that many pros. And again, I went into this film really excited, like wanting another cool Hellboy story. And I just got a really messy film. This script is atrocious. This The script is just exposition after exposition after exposition. Every single character you meet in here they tell a backstory and they flash it back to that time. Whether it's Mila Jovovich's character, whether it's Hellboy's origin story, or say it goes to Ian McShane's, Sasha Lane's character, or even Daniel Day Kim, the, every single character in here pretty much gets a little backstory to it. And I, I just, every time it came up the exposition, I was like, okay, here's another exposition scene. Oh, here's another one. And sometimes they're just sitting there spewing and talking exposition constantly. A lot of the film is just exposition. Really, I was just sitting there mumbling to myself. I'm like, okay, exposition again. Oh, okay, th there's another exposition scene. Hey, when are we going to finally see Hellboy killing some demons? That's really what drags down the pacing. And in general, the whole film itself is the exposition. And don't get me wrong. I, I, exposition can be good. 
when it's actually good dialogue. The dialogue for this exposition was not clever and in fact very just boring and typical. It felt like a very first draft of a script that they just wrote and they're like, hey, it's good. It's what dragged down the film because there really is not a lot of action sequences in here. It's people walking, tons of dead bodies, exposition scene of what happened here. Okay, walking, tons of dead bodies, exposition scene of what happened here. Okay, walking, tons of dead bodies, oh, action scene, done, more exposition after that. Again, that is the detriment to this film. That is the nail in the coffin for what really harmed this movie. Even throwing more issues into the script is that it feels like it's just trying to flesh out this world in so much, where if you look back at the original Del Toro films, the original one was kind of like a classic monster movie with a gothic horror theme to it, and when you look at the second one, it has that same horror tone to it, but more in a spy type of genre, and I really like the melding of those, and in this one, it has the horror tendencies there, but really, there's only a couple cool horror sequences in there, especially from Neil Marshall. I was expecting more of it. There's a cool graveyard scene with Hellboy and them running through a forest and them having to fight like weird zombies, which was cool. And jumping into some of the details of how magic and whatnot works within these demons was a cool addition. Again, it just got boggled down and got so boring. I need action in every scene. I can totally enjoy just a story. But the story is just not good. I think that's where this film totally falls apart again, is with just within the script. Every main issue, every single thing I had a problem with was revolved around that script. Trying to set up for future movies, trying to set up for future worlds. You know, if they want to do that, this might as well have should have just been a TV show. Even though it's rated R and that's cool to see the blood and guts and the cursing, it didn't really add anything to the film. Drag it up to Hellboy 2019. This was a major disappointment for me. I'm a big fan of the originals. I was expecting another good, at least another good adventure into the realm of Hellboy's world. And I was excited for it for the most part. And I walked out super disappointed and really just boggled by how bad this movie was. I expected a lot more and I'm like really sad saying how much I didn't like this movie. With all that said, I'm going to give Hellboy a D. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this brand new Hellboy. Do you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And make sure to look out for all my ranking of all the Hellboy films later this week. And guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button for all sorts of early movie reviews. Check out Sandwich on Films, and I'll make sure to see you guys soon. So, until next time, stay classy.